Coming up, you're going to discover critical mistakes that beginning game developers make and how to increase retention for casual games. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, the place you go when you want action-packed content in the app business. We are the app marketing agency that's really going to growth hack your downloads. If you're a startup, we're going to help you get to your first 100,000 downloads. And then if you have already made it and you got a brand, well, we're going to help you with conversion rate optimization. In this video, it is a snippet from our last App Masters virtual summit with my man, Kevin Wollstenholme. He is the founder of Rising High Studio, where they've gotten tons of Apple features for their casual games, their game studio. And he's also the founder of Rising High Academy that teaches you all about game design, how to find publishers, how to create compelling games, how to come up with the right ideas. All that is linked up in the YouTube description down below. So check them out if you want to learn more about Kevin. In this video, you're actually going to discover critical mistakes that beginning game developers make. Kevin sees this all the time in his Rising High Academy. So he's got some great insights there. And the number one question that we all care about, how do we increase retention for our casual games? So without further ado, let's get in to Kevin's interview. Yeah. Do you see common mistakes from some of your academy members, maybe the newer ones who come in and thinking X, Y, and Z, you're like, no, you just have to train, retrain them in a way. Um, I think one, I think we've seen, so we offer uh, something that we call academy test drive. So once a month as a member, you, we, you send us your game and me and Jilly who are on the academy with, we will go through and do a video of your game. We'll open it up like we've never played it. And we play it and we say this, 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 and this, and we're pretty brutal um, because there's no point sugarcoating anything. You know, we have mm -hmm. to match the game with your aspirations. If you want to get signed with Voodoo, you've built the wrong game. Now, we don't, we're not trying to be horrible, but if you want that deal, then you've got to do this or you've got to start again. So we have seen certain people who have come in and they've just sort of built an old style game that isn't really on point. But and then we point them to the courses and they go, I see. Um, I built the wrong game, and it's all cool. It's but yeah, that is quite. You know, it, it's funny because a lot as game developers, a lot of the time we we like we sort of hone in, and we're and we're so like we're so pleased with ourselves that we made this door open, right? But no one gives a crap, right? It just it doesn't add anything. But we and that's when when you start getting feedback, you start to realise actually I'm concentrating on the wrong things. Now, there's nothing wrong with spending two days making a door open. I've been there. I still am there. I get so excited when I make something happen. But at the end of the day, we try and focus our members on pointing them and getting their energy in the right places uh, as more of a directional tool. Are there, you know, one of the guys I just spoke with before our call was, I thought he had a really great game, like at the beginnings of a really great game. And he yeah. talked to Voodoo and said, yeah. Day one retention was around 46%. Day seven, I don't know exactly, but you didn't make it. Voodoo just said, hey, it doesn't match. Like it's it's too low. And so I thought about retention and how do you improve it? And I thought I gave him pretty good suggestions on it. But how do you, when you approach a game, and then maybe you can bring up an example, but like when you're just starting to think about it, like how do you improve that retention rate? This is probably one of the biggest questions we get asked. And, 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 and total spoiler alert, there is no one answer here. Um, you know, when you think about the word retention, you need to start thinking about addictiveness, dopamine, and all of these kind of things. And like, it really boils down to fun. You know, why do you go back and do something again? Generally, because you enjoy doing it. Now, as designers and game designers, it's really hard to separate ourselves and take that bird's eye view to say, is this fun? Mm -hmm. You know, um, we we get caught up, like I said, about making that door open. When in fact, the, your game's pretty boring, right? And it's really hard. I mean, why has Voodoo not got 7,000 games in their portfolio? Because it's very, very difficult to hit the numbers that they're looking for. Now, 46 and uh, relatively close to day seven, there was a publishers that would bite his hand off for stuff like that. Right. Um, 
and it's a constant iteration but retention purely it's really difficult it all starts with the core loop and that is for your core loop is the action that your player does repeatedly so when you think about let's take one that everyone will know ketchup stack Mm -hmm. classic game of probably a year ago now maybe longer god i don't know move so fast but what do you do in stack? The the the, uh, the the little cube thing comes in, you press your button, and you try and stack it up, kind of like a Jenga tower or whatever, right? Right. That's it. You you don't have you don't have power ups. You don't have all this other whizzy bangy stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's that one action, and that's your core loop. So flappy bird core loop. Tap 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 tap. Go through the pipe. Die. Tap tap tap. Da 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 da. Your core loop over and over and over. Now. Retention, you can go into secondary loops where you can add an extra bit. So you can, maybe you pick up a power up. But if you if you've got a broken core loop, if your game is rubbish, and I say rubbish, and that sounds harsh, but we just boil it down. If your game's not fun, adding power ups and extra characters and new levels is not going to fix it. And that's really hard to nail, and it's really hard to uh, swallow as a game developer when you slogged it out building the game that you think's amazing. Um, so we, we try and boil everything down to its purest form and that's normally the best place to start when we're talking about getting a really solid core loop and that and then we'll sort of that will be your best retention bringer that's not a sentence English is quite difficult clearly <laughs> um, but you get my point that, yeah. that's that's the thing you get your core loop you know think of helix jump from voodoo what do you do? The thing goes up and down, and you turn the pipe, and you go through. Yeah. No spaceships, right? No, <laughs> no mad stuff. So for those sort of minimal hyper casuals, that's you just you want a one action game. I love that you did it that way. And what I was talking to him about, and I think flight is a great example of this. Is the core loop is just going through different obstacles. That's but right. I think I think what you have to think about now is like how do you make that fun? So like. In my opinion, you tell me if you disagree, Kevin, but the variability. So you're very, you know, like with flight, you're now changing out the shapes a little bit. Now it's like, mm-hmm. yes, I'm doing the same exact thing, but it feels different every That's single right. time. And it has yeah. to be that. Like you're doing the same exact thing, but it needs to feel a little bit different. Yeah, sure. I mean, that that is definitely, uh, you know, a randomization to keep it fresh. Yeah. Now, change of color, change of zone. Can, can do an awful lot i mean it's interesting now we're talking about fly and i don't want to flog this too much but what david when when, when we did fly the controls weren't very good it was really floaty and what david did he, he pumped it up and it's like god dang it yeah why the hell is all so rubbish and david made it faster exactly the same core loop but he got the, he did the controls and he went faster and he made it more exciting and you wanted another go whereas flight you just sort of like, oh. You know, yeah. it's like meh. And you don't want meh, right? Yeah, meh yeah. is what you don't want. And that's and that's the difference. It's these small tweaks. So that, you know, he didn't change a... I mean, you know, we just been through all that. He changed tons, but he didn't change an awful lot of the core loop. Right. Go up, you go through a thing, and you go up again. Right. It's the same game. Just, just the execution just smashed it. Right. I love that. Amazing. Wasn't that amazing? Now, if you want to check out the full interview, it's all under appmastersacademy.com, appmastersacademy.com. Check it out there. And then make sure you sign up for the email newsletters because we're going to be doing a lot more virtual summits coming 2019. In our next video, I'm actually going to do a game audit on a casual game that was created from someone in the audience. So you're actually going to hear my feedback on the game and how I would improve it to make it ready for the real big world so stay tuned for that next video and hit subscribe if you haven't already done so and lastly if you got any questions for me leave a comment below and i will create a video just for you i'll see you on the next video bye click the top video above if you want to hear david reichel tell you how he generates awesome game ideas and there's nothing more important than optimizing your video ads when it comes to video games so definitely check out the bottom video to see an app that's doing it really, really well.